Source Magazine, Source.com. It's your boy Kaz. We are over here with Super Bowl champion, current Seattle Seahawk, and defensive ball hawk, Raheem Brock. What's going on, bro? What's going on, man? Well, we got you here in New York today. I know it's <laughs> under better circumstances. Yeah. You can still be playing, but, you know. It would have been nice. It would have been nice, but, you know, we had a good run. Now, you know, you, you come from a winning culture. You was at the Indianapolis Colts for pretty much eight years. Yeah. Won the Super Bowl. It's at the top of the top and everything. Yeah. Kind of like you had to go back to Seattle, pretty much start from scratch. Yeah. I mean, how was that like this season? Uh, it was it was different, man. It was an experience, but uh, uh, it was it was different being an underdog in almost every game yeah. than uh, being in Indianapolis and you know everybody's trying to beat us. You know we're everybody's Super Bowl. You know if somebody beat us, then oh they're getting their team is, is getting somewhere. But uh, we got some great players over there, man. A good nucleus that we can build on. And uh, I think we're going to be a, a great team uh, next year. Now, um, you guys didn't just win the game. You know what I mean? You took out the defending Super Bowl <laughs> champions. I hate the Saints. <laughs> I hate the Saints. They took my Super Bowl ring. I love New Orleans, but I hate the Saints. <laughs> so, you know, talk to me a little bit about, you know, what you can look forward to next season. I know you guys really... Um, surprised a lot of people, you know what I mean? We, we surprised, surprised yeah, yeah, we surprised I mean, ourselves. Man, we ain't surprised ourselves. We knew what we could do. That's, uh, the, that's the whole thing. You know, it's just, we were just inconsistent throughout the year. You know, we, we still getting to know each other. So, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to gel together at the right time. You know what I'm saying? And um, we just want to keep that going into the next year. You know, we're going to get some more players in. You know, you know coach is going to bring some guys in that possibly could help us out to, to, to uh, get further in the playoffs next year. So uh, we, we, we thought we finished off pretty good, you know, since the way we started, you know, uh, the whole new roster, different coaches, and then, you know, everybody just thrown in the mix in the beginning of the season. And uh, uh, I think we'll be all right. We'll be pretty good next year. So. We were just talking a little bit off camera, but, you know, <laughs> we're going to bring this out because this is a, right, good, this is a good topic. Um, hardest player to tackle in, yeah. in your playing days? Yeah. Um, Fred Teller was just, you know, he, he was just, he was shifty and he had power and uh, he was always moving his legs, so it was tough to tackle a guy like that. And, um, and then Bettis, he was just a big bowling ball, man. Yeah. Like, I can't, you, can't, you can't put your arm around him, you know, try to bring him down. So, you know, he, he was he's a big dude, man. Power, speed, you know, he was tough. There you have it. It's social magazine, social.com. It's your boy Kyle over here with Seattle Seahawks with Pennsylvania, Raheem Brock. Oh, we're going.